<laughs> That's right, guys. Uh, Chef David from Buster Brown Bean Company is back here. And we're, we're making a, a pie today? We are making pie today. Awesome. Uh, what we, kind of pie? What are we We are going to be doing a coffee bourbon pecan pie. It's a very southern thing, and uh, we're using some local syrup from the Golier Farms down in Chautauqua County in Forestville, New York. They're really awesome people. Um, we're going to be putting their information up. It's some of the best maple syrup around. Um, we're also featuring all of our holiday baskets and pies, which is why we're doing that on our, on our website, BusterBrownBean.com. And we have a new coupon code, Winging It. Okay, for all of you guys. you can get that on our website. Mm -hmm. like oh, yours, that'll be on great. your website. That'll yeah. be great. So we have our holiday roasts coming out. We have mm -hmm. all of our pies coming out. So today we're doing pies. Okay, now uh, as far as ingredients goes, let's go through them really qu uh, quickly one more time about what folks at home need uh, or they can maybe improvise with if yep. they don't have well, any stuff. I know that everybody's busy. I'm busy at home, and sometimes when people ask me to bake, I don't always do it from scratch. Stop. So I'm Stop. telling everybody, use a store-bought crust for this one, okay? All right. We're going to do that. We're going to cheat okay a little bit. It's that. okay to do that sometimes. Have permission. We're me. doing um, some crushed pecans, pecan halves. There's going to be coffee. There's going to be bourbon, because I'm here. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and it's Monday. And, and it's Monday. Do, right? How the hell do we get through the week? <laughs> um, <laughs> so we're going to be doing, uh, there's, there's maple syrup from DeGolier's Farm. Mm -hmm. There is bourbon. There's pecans. There's butter. Um, there's always butter <laughs> and everything, right? Uh, what else do we have? Yeah. All right, that's um, the list, pretty much. Everything yeah, that's pretty up, much up it. You guys have it right up there. Now, is, is this a real time-consuming um, No, it's actually recipe? very quick and easy. It is. It's everything into the pot, stir it, pour it into your crust, toss it into the oven kind of a thing, and, and walk away. And a great holiday um, type yep, pot, right? Yeah, all the way through the holiday. Thanksgiving coming up, even, even Christmas, Christmas right? as well. Yep, exactly. All right. Exactly. All right, good and stuff. we got some cocktails, too, because I'm here. Of course. <laughs> of course you do. All right. You yeah. brought in limoncello last time, so we're going to mm -hmm. see what mm -hmm. you have today. All right. We're going to get working on this, uh, start chopping stuff uh, in the next segment. Right now, we're going to send things over to Emily Lenahan, who's uh, checking out the web for us. Hey, Emily. And high CW, octane uh, in the kitchen today. The CW yeah. Twenty three rolling pin, please. You started without the camera. Oh, rolling pin. All right. Oh. This is our uh, this is our rolling pin today. Um, you can do this at home, by the way. Yeah. What yeah. Is it? It's a can of uh, all. It's a can spray. of um, nonstick spray. Right. We're uh, winging it. Yeah, we this really morning. Are today. But if anybody has seen the CW twenty three yeah. rolling pin, please call the station. You can be anonymous, okay? <laughs> we won't. Well, we won't so we're gonna, All right, we're gonna take our pre-made, our, our store-bought um, crust, which obviously you can make your own crust. Right. Crust is fairly simple. Mm -hmm. um, it's flour and cold butter and cold water. And that's essentially, okay. yeah. So this is the um, first step. In but we're trying to save some time because in the holidays we're all very busy. Right. I just try to give it a nice roll. Mm -hmm. Evenly, kind even of spread it out every direction, pretty much. We got a yes. nine-inch crust. Um, I know that there have been people on here, and everybody shows you tricks on how to transfer your crust. Oh, you no, can go no. this way. Okay. Um, See, I would try to pick it up. It would probably destroy. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna fold it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Look at that. Pull this over here. here. Now you don't need to put anything in the pan, right there. No, because there's butter in here, so it's. Oh, kinda, okay. Gotcha. That's kind of greases it up. Perfect. In and of itself. Do you know how to? Uh oh, I accidentally tore the crust a little bit. No big deal, though. Okay. No there big deal. It makes it okay. look homemade, right? Absolutely. I've only, uh, you know, bought pies at stores, so this to me is all brand new. You're going to go home. You're making it simple, though. You you make your wife a pie now? Down. I'll try. Okay. I'll, we're try. Gonna, I'll try. We're going to crimp the edges <laughs> to try to make it look pretty. So you're just pinching it there? Uh, yeah, okay. I'm using my thumb and my fingers to. Yeah. To pinch it. And making a homemade pie, it's not supposed to be perfect anyway. That's no, the, really. That's I mean, the, isn't that the, the point? Part, right? Yes, yeah. it. Kind of makes it more homey. And great to do with kids, too. Yes. You got kids around. And obviously, this is a great holiday pie. We were talking about yes. before. It's uh, Thanksgiving coming up, even Christmas. I mm -hmm. mean, the pecan. And if you don't want to make this pie, you can actually order it on our website, and I'll ship it to <laughs> you. Better. All right. <laughs> Which is even better. And, of course, we have a link on wingingit.tv. Uh -huh. so From your site to my site and back. Right. Easy. So now what we're going to do is try to chill okay. this a little bit. Okay. So we'll put this in the fridge. We'll put that in the fridge. I'll just stick that in there for All now. All right. We're going to grab some of our pecans, because now we're going to start prepping those. Hey, you're we're chopping need, these? Or? Yep. We're going to need chopped. And we're also going to need some of our pecan halves because they actually kind of come more like, like know, that. They're okay. more to, yeah. Gotcha. And, they, and so we're going to chop these. Now, another quick and easy tri uh, trick to this is that um, you can buy them already chopped. Right. Whether you know that or not, some people are just not in the baking aisle. <laughs> I have one of those chopped plungers at home. I just love to you chop can, them. Yeah. <laughs> Get out your aggression. It's all fun for me when I Of course, do you don't want your chopped pecans flying everywhere. You want right. to be a little careful about it. Yeah. Just keep them in there. So we're just going to okay. keep prepping these out. Okay. You don't want them to be too big. And you were saying um, to get this recipe going, it's <clears throat> not too difficult from start to finish, right? No, it's pretty quick. There's a lot of stuff to kind of measure out, but... Okay. It, well, we're going to get almost. going in the next segment on yeah. the actual, you know, adding some more ingredients. You've got some syrup as well we're going to talk mm -hmm. about. And, yep. of course, a little alcohol in there that uh, definitely sweeten up this dish, right? And some coffee. 
Give it a everything. Hit. Yeah, that's right. We need a little coffee. It's Monday. <laughs> All right, back to you guys on the couch. Uh, Chef David from the Buster Brown Bean Company. Uh, you made a lot of delicious meals. Now we're kind of making one that's fit for the holidays, either yeah. um, Thanksgiving or, or Christmas. It's a pecan pie. Every good meal has to come to a good end, right? Absolutely. This dessert is a great is way to end. And very often yeah. in our cafe, most people get their dessert, and while they're waiting for the meal to come out, they eat their dessert. Sure. So they usually get it ahead of time because we are a bistro, so they kind of walk by the, the pastry case and go, mm, yeah, yeah I call it the out. case of sin and delight. All right. All right. So, <laughs> so what we have, we have our, the pecans that we, that we started mm -hmm. prepping in the last right. segment. Um, we have our brown sugar. Mm -hmm. We have um, our eggs. Uh, four eggs? There's, well, there's four, there's four eggs and then there's four egg whites. And if you don't know how oh, to, okay. an easy way of separating egg whites, I don't, I, we don't have an extra egg in the you studio right now. The... I um, crack it and open it and then I actually pour it into my hand. Oh, okay. And the yolk, the, the yolk will stay in your hand and the whites we'll separate, will just kind of right? separate right okay. from it. Um, That's a good way to do it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we have some dry coffee. This is actually instant espresso. Ooh. Um, I switch in and out of instant espresso and instant coffee. However, whenever I can, I use brewed coffee. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I try to use a dark roast and a way that you can substitute that in is actually um, balancing out your liquids. You can never change the amount of liquid but you can change the type of liquid when you're uh -huh. baking. Okay. So say um, uh, it calls, a recipe calls for water. You can actually sub in coffee instead, especially when you're using chocolate. You'll almost never taste the coffee, mm. but chocolate and coffee are one of the world's most natural and wonderful pairings. They completely so well complement each other. All of our chocolate has coffee in it. Mm -hmm. Right, Pretty right. much at the bistro, okay. yeah. Um, we have our bourbon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. No? Yeah. Okay. And Not then, just yet. <laughs> we'll save that for later. And then we have our, our uh, vanilla extract, and I only okay, use vanilla, vanilla extract. It's okay. one of those things that if you're using imitation... You don't want to do that. Go go the, the extra few bucks and it's worth it. have the good right. stuff, yeah. Flavor. Okay. So uh, we're going all in the pot here. Now you got some chopped pecans and, and some, just whole. some whole ones, yeah, right? Yeah, so kind of give it some body. You want. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we got our brown sugar. Two scoops of brown sugar. Yeah, yep. And that's dark brown sugar, or is it light, or does it's it matter? It's dark brown, it really, it really doesn't matter. Okay, I'm doesn't using dark brown, I've used light, it's no big deal. Either way, yep. put the eggs but in you there. actually want to lightly beat those eggs. Okay. Forgot to do that. <laughs> My bad. Now, we've got some great uh, maple syrup, right? Yes, and this, this is the Golier maple syrup. You tried it. As fresh it. as it gets, yeah. Yep. You can really taste the difference. The climate, uh, yeah, and the climate in New York State is um, perfect. Perfect for that, right? For, mm -hmm. for maple syrup and um, Look at that mixture. these guys do an excellent job down there doing that yeah it, yep. it actually almost looks good in there too right I know there you go uh, and um, what do we got here this is um, dark corn oh, syrup boy this oh, is okay. kind of what makes the body now what you're gonna notice about this is oh, the smell. standard pecan pie recipe is always very very sweet and this is not necessarily so the okay. focus is actually on the savory um, of you know the bourbon mm -hmm. and um, the pecans itself all right, now we've got about a minute and a half. We're going right. to mix these up. Um, yep. And this is pretty much then, basically it. This is the recipe right here. You this just is it. put everything in one bowl. Yeah. Coffee goes in there, of course. Coffee That's goes in there, uh -huh. right? So get that going. Mm -mm 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 -mm. We're going to stir that through, right? Uh -huh. And this is basically pie your crust. pie feeling, right? You yep. get the filling in the pot. That's it. Okay. Yep. Mm. Now you could beat, like you said before, you can beat the eggs you before, the you, eggs put eggs before you put them in there. You're kind of essentially getting that done right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then. We're going to pour that all in. Oh, look at that. that. That's right. measured perfectly, by the way, I have to Thank say. Thank you. I, I do try. Now, behind you, <laughs> yeah, we do have our finished product. 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 Yep. All right. And... Mm -hmm. Chef David's going for it. There you go. <laughs> all right. That looks awesome. All right. So, this is our finished product right there. I love how you Here's put it Here's our slice, like that. That's right? Awesome. Right and, there. of yeah. course, pie is never really complete until you have um, oh, what is a that? little bit of whip. Oh, right? whipped cream. Beautiful. And we have our... Our mocktails. We have mm -hmm. some of our house coffee here. It's uh, our holiday blend, which you can now purchase on our website. Oh, that'll wake you up in the morning. That's Go for sure. Go from your website to our website. Type in wingingit.com. And of course. All right, of course. <laughs> and then we also have a tea version for you tea drinkers. Kind of a hot toddy. We have a uh, okay vanilla hazelnut tea. Hazelnut tea, great mm -hmm. Good stuff. And All then right. we're gonna add a splash of cream mm. to that, right? And then of course. You know, because it's kind of like one of those Baileys. Oh, sh 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 it's, it literally smells like Christmas in here right now, or Thanksgiving mm, even. Thanksgiving. Great job. Uh, we are going to make a really interesting second helping. That's coming. We are. Up. Let's mm -hmm. keep that a secret just for now. Mm -hmm. We're going to dig into some of this pie as we head to break. When we come back, Amelia Siegel is going to have a look at the forecast. And that's a live look at City Hall right now. Um, maybe a little cloudy out there, but it looks like the first half of the week is going to be good.
Welcome back. We are uh, making a lot of like a, a holiday theme here. Yeah, got, it's uh, the fall. Yeah, we got great a great pecan pie for Thanksgiving or Christmas, and now mm -hmm. we're making some. Um, Pumpkin pancakes. Pumpkin pancakes. Didn't even know those existed. What do we got? What's, what's in this batter? It's easy to do. You can either buy a store-bought buttermilk batter mix, okay. or you can make your own. Um, I can get you recipes. It's, it's you know, it's easier and the same. You say that, buy. like, I can get you recipes. I can get you recipes. I don't have it memorized. I'm not one of those people. But <laughs> basically, um, you get a buttermilk pancake mix, yeah. um, or you can make them from scratch. Mm -hmm. And uh, basically, what you do is just add a third of a can of pumpkin. Yeah, this smells like the holiday season, doesn't it? Yes, it does. And then you also add your pumpkin pie uh, seasonings, or That's you can right. do, you know, ginger. That's Oh, that looks great. Look there at that. There we go. And look at the color. You can kind of tell. It's got you a can tell there's some, there's some pumpkin, pumpkin in there, right? Now, in here, you've got... Uh, I got, got some more of my DeGolier Farms maple, uh, maple syrup, that mm -hmm. excellent grade A high-quality stuff from mm -hmm. local people. With the pecans. Some toasted there. pecans. And so we're reusing all of our ingredients, basically, as you know. And you had this um, on a low flame for quite a while, A low right? flame. Just a, I toasted the, okay. the pecans to kind of start releasing their oils, okay. tossed them in there. Um, we can even add a shot of bourbon if you really wanted to the next morning. <laughs> Lord only knows the holidays could drive us all to drink sometimes, right? It's, That's right. Whatever it takes. If you uh -huh. got the in-laws coming over, I'm just going to keep pouring. You uh, keep pouring. I'm going to try to make a silver dollar out of that. Yeah. Try that guy. Oops. I ruined that there. That's okay. That's okay, Joe. Beep, boop, pop. Little Make ones for everybody. Face. Make a smiley face. Good idea. You have kids, right? That's awful. Mm -hmm. I don't have kids. It's kind of like yet, a googly smiley it face. It is. It's a googly. googly <laughs> so what we're gonna do? <laughs> what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some of this. I think I've been drinking the bourbon there. Yeah, right. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's gonna look great on top. Yeah, there. right. So I'm gonna taste and it better. To kind of play off that salty sweet, you can yes. even try to. You can either candy some p pumpkin seeds or yeah. these are salted pumpkin seeds. Ah, I was wondering Oops. what you're doing with those. They're flying everywhere, aren't that's they? Great. And of course, a little bit of whip. Yeah, it's almost like a dessert breakfast. <laughs> yeah, well, isn't a bread? <laughs> Look at that. That there looks you great. Go. And you guys have this at the uh, Buster Brown Bean Company as well? Can I get this? Whenever on I do something here? on uh -huh. here, I always try to feature it in the restaurant at some you point do. shortly okay. thereafter. Yep. Yeah. And here, we're going to flip your. Um, as far as uh, folks that want to go to your website, this pecan pie we made, you can also buy. From your website, that right? Really you googly. Uh, <laughs> That's really Google it. That's how I make pancakes. Right. That's yeah, right. We can, uh, yeah. You can buy, you can buy the whole um, pecan pie, and we'll actually ship locally. If you're in the Fredonia Dunkirk area, anywhere within there, we actually, you can do free pickup. We do free delivery off of our website. You can do pretty much anything. Yeah. All right. Good stuff, Chef David, Buster Brown Bean Company. Check sure. them out on our website. They've got a link to theirs. Yep. Uh, good stuff. All right. Back to Thanks. you guys on the couch. Mm. Thank you very much, Joe and Chef.